But for now, we're going to go out live to the Community Blood Center of the Ozarks for the latest. So, Tom, what is happening this month that blood donors need to be aware of? Well, there's so much, actually, that they need to be aware of, not only this month, but as we go through the year. But we're going to concentrate more on this month. Michelle is with me once again from the CBCO. Good to see you, as always. Well, behind us, explain. I'm going to step aside so you can get a good view. What, what are we seeing here? So this is the blood that we have on the shelves right now that we'll be getting ready to distribute to our area hospitals. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is pretty full when you consider. Yes. Yeah, but this doesn't stay that well, way. Well, it could go quickly. Yes, it you can. You just never know what kind of situation could arise. Well, um, one surgery. Right. One could, surgery could, could use, deplete a lot. Yes. Yes. Where does it stand now? Because I, you know, looking at all of these things, I see there's. In a rack over there, there's one bag. What, what's so we're the story in need there? of AB negative right now. That's pretty and rare. That isn't is it? a very rare blood okay. um, type. Okay. So it's about one percent of donors are AB negative. Uh -huh. So if you're AB negative, we'd love for you to come in. We're always grateful for the donors who do yeah. do donate that blood type. No matter what type of blood, right. of course. Right. But the call is out, especially for AB neg right Correct. now. Correct. Okay. Now. Because of, I mean, there is a constant need. This is a daily, these shelves could be empty by tomorrow. Correct. And that's why you need people to come in. And you have you have drives every yeah, now and then. Yeah. So they're, they're a little special, but the need is the same. Correct. What, what do we have so coming up? So we have up? two special blood drives going on this week to honor frontline first responders. Okay. So Wednesday, March 13th, we have the Aaron Pearson blood drive, honoring him that he was shot in the face seven years ago, or maybe a little bit longer, but this is the seventh annual, annual drive. Okay. So that's from eight to six. Eight to six. Now is that just here? It's just at, the at our center? Springfield Center, yes. Okay, at the center. Yeah. So that's again Wednesday, March thirteenth. Wednesday the thirteenth. All right. Mm -hmm. And then I know you have another right. one. Right. So on up. Friday, March fifteenth, we have the Unite Springfield blood drive and that's honoring Christopher Walsh and others who were injured in the come and go shooting um, a couple years ago. So that is a special drive for them. There's a, a relief fund with mm -hmm. Community Foundation of the Ozarks, so the right. 315 relief fund. So when donors come in and donate that day, we will give $10 back to that fund for every donor. And that fund goes and helps the families of the victims. So, I mean, this is amazing because, you know, the need for blood, that's one purpose that you're filling, the blood's need in the community. But then you're also donating to another fund Right. through the donations. Right. Uh, okay. Lots of ways to multiply giving yeah. in the community. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, these two drives kind of show the importance of a local blood supply that's needed on the shelves in mm -hmm. case of an emergency. Mm -hmm. So the blood's already there on the shelves. Um, someone took an hour of their time before right. because it takes a couple days to do the testing and sure. everything to get sure. it on it the shelf. It just doesn't get right. thrown on a shelf. Right. It's like, you know, when a tragedy happens, people want to know what they can do to help. Mm -hmm. The kindness before a tragedy can help with the blood supply. Right, because during tragedies, a lot of people go, ooh, I have to donate right. blood. The important part is also all those things when it's just normal, because normal surgeries can eat right. several units right. of blood very right. easily. So Aaron Pearson needed 20 units of blood during his surgery and recovery. Right. Um, some childbirth tragedies could happen, and some of uh, those people could use 20 to 40 units of right. blood. But then there is the simple everyday surgery. Someone may need a unit or two of blood. Right. And you consider how many places are you supplying? So we have a new hospital, so we uh, supply to 45 area hospitals. 45, and you maybe a unit or two for how many surgeries during the day? And you kind of understand how these shelves can right. go right. empty very cancer quickly. Cancer patients too, so 25% of our blood supply goes to cancer patients. Okay. And a lot of times it's the chemo that they're going through that will make their blood levels dip and they need like a plate tra platelet transfusion or right. a red cell transfusion before they can have their next chemo. Right, and by saying that, you're also reminding people there are several ways you can donate. It doesn't necessarily have to be just right. whole blood. Right. We do platelets and plasma as well. Okay, all right. How old do you have to be to be a donor? So you have to be 16 with a parent's consent. Right. 17, you don't need a parent's consent. Mm -hmm. What are the ground rules as far as maybe medication you've taken or 
uh, you know, COVID was a concern for right. a long time as well. We want you to be feeling well that day, so that's why they have you fill out the questionnaire that day because they want to know how you're feeling. Okay. Um, they'll take your blood pressure, they'll prick your finger to test your iron levels, make sure your iron's high enough for the day. Yeah. The different medications, the the staff there will work with you and answer any questions you have because there's certain ones that you can and certain ones you can't. All right, and I know it doesn't take too long and you get snacks afterward. Yes. Now, uh, next time we're talking, we're going to go look at different places you can donate at, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we'll be back CBCO in just a little bit. Right now, back to you. Thanks so much, Tom.